Good morning, Imida, Yaravun. Look at this sea. A little bit cloudy today, but it was so nice to come here. No one was here except us. So we're almost packed up and before we leave and we want to show you um, our van. Actually, since we are traveling, we modify a little bit here and there. So today we will be a little bit van tour. Oh, before I get in, you know, we had a video for in a building a van, like within 10 minutes. If you guys didn't check it, just check it here. And we have a previous version van tour. So if you are curious like what was original versions, you can click here too. So let's get in. I will show you from the behind because like this area is like we changed pretty much and I will show you right now. And you can see that like this hanging part in over my head and we added since we are traveling long time we need a, like more like storage areas so here and there mark shavers and camera gears and here is like the uh, our working area compartment so you can see the hard drive and I love this part because it is removal like a box and you can see the stickers we met a lot of travelers so whenever we meet the people we get the sticker in and put in here anyways we need a place to put the our clothes so this is my area <laughs> this is a work area but actually I'm taking over work <laughs> through the area too because like sometimes I don't have that much space to put my clothes so we added this one it's for the babies you know like babies try to open it it's like a safe lock so we glue it here here and over there too so that like the our clothes will not flying <laughs> around the event while we are driving so this is a new feature too the tissues i made it during the uh, travel and below here i will move this one a little bit you can see that like i add a li little of the uh, cube box there's like a little space is really precious for us and we put it here new one to use a towel this is a new feature previously we used the ice box a lot when we were traveling in korea but since we decided to do long term travel we decided to put the uh, refrigerator and this one is a hit and love relationship you guys know that like we had uh, so many problems with a 12 volt Sega X. if you miss it just check it here too we don't have any wires inside of our van uh, this is main light is a USB charger so previously we used this one smaller one but it wasn't enough for us and then we just like use a magnet to attach it here you can see the carabiners we hang the heads and the lights case and here too because most of times we hang the heads before I set up the table I will show the like changes in the kitchen area Okay, let me move here. So we add up here, down here is a foot pedals. If I use my tool here, water is coming out. So the reason why we add it is like water is really important while we're traveling in Mongolia, especially. So we want to save the water and then the efficient way is like a foot pedal. So we save a lot of water and then easy to use too also move to this area you can see the hook this is like our utensil or like cutting board everything is in here everything <laughs> so here we put the little plastic container because we have to organize it if we didn't have it it was like always like moving around so we add this little things here when we cook inside we cook here but most of the times we like to cook outside so this table, ta-da! It's removable, and we can put outside and then use outside, it. or we can use it for the uh, coffee table too. But I'm gonna pass the mark. The reason why? Also, this one is removable. It's like quite a, like a big table for outside. And underneath, you guys can see it's the porta potty. It's like um, my toilet, basically. Mark sometimes I use it, but most of the times I use. So yeah, this is a hidden and it's really convenient for me. Seriously, yeah. Later, I will talk about why people need to put a potty. I will move to the back side and then we are gonna set up the table. Let's go. You guys, you need to help me though. <laughs> okay. 
There it is. Big cushions. Okay. I will make it short. Good. So I made a short version of the uh, table. So this is a kind of dining areas too. And if we work, we set up the long table like this. And you can see like my head and the uh, cabinet area. So that because of that, we couldn't put another bar. If I if we do, we always hit the head like this when we are working. <laughs> Sometimes we need to access underneath here. So if we have table like this is kind of hard to read so, so we add this wire in the uh, carabiner and if I hook this one to the handle like this you can see it is like stay there and we mo just move these legs underneath and then sometimes we need to grab the house battery it's easy to do it before Mark need to hold, hold this table or I need to hold it but I can do it by myself now. <laughs> While table is up, I will show you underneath. This is a house battery, and then here's another container. We just stored a kind of medicine, vitamin, and ETC something. And also, if I move this one here, this is like another storage area. This is a house battery charger here, and then we carry this one too. QB smell better with that one. On this side, we had a food compartment and there's two ways to pull out the food compartment. This is one way. You can see our food. And like this, easy to reach it. And then we have a, the other way to do it. I will show you after Mark move. <laughs> Let me put it back. Table. Quick. <laughs> So the other way to put the uh, plot of food, we have this way, put it like that, you can see the our food, and <laughs> that's a lot of food, like people might think like you guys have the uh, you know storage area bottom part, why do you need to add this one, that's, this is the reason why we have a lot of food, <laughs> this section is basically Korean food, and this is like the uh, pasta or other you know, Italian food storage areas. Here, it's like the same compartment as like other one. We carry the uh, gifts for the people we meet. Uh, we carry other stuff like Korean flag stickers and our stickers too. Whenever we meet the people, we just grab it and then give to them. This is the last area for the uh, compartment. This is basically like a tools. You can see like our camping chair, tools, battery and other stuff. So I will show you like um, how we are using this area. It's like this is like a basic area. It's like Mark and I just chilling out this mode. And it's like a sleeping mode too. It's like this is perfect size for me. Mark too. Two person can sit and lie down too. And the other way is like it's lounge mode. You know, like, I will show you. It's better to show that than the uh, plain. Okay. Put the uh, cushion on here. I put it like this. I sit here, and Mark sits over here. So it's like we both like just like lounging like this. Hey man, what's up? When we have like a beautiful scenery right there, we change the mode like this. We both sit here, two of us, where sometimes I like to sit by myself, like this, looking outside like, mm, it's beautiful, mm, look at the man. <laughs> Kidding. When I sit like this, Mark sit over here, but sometimes he put his feet like this. It's not nice, but it's okay. You can see here, it's like there's a lot of wires. Um, Normally we don't have it, but when we go to campsite and they have electricity, we hook up 
from outside so there's like wires going through underneath of this this wire is always here is the for the refrigerator is 12 volt and this one is the um, this wire that hook up outside and this one is a Wi-Fi uh, repeater you can see on the roof so we hook up like three things basically here for today's like event tour we you know like get rid of the uh, insulations but every day we put the insulation the reason why sometimes it's so hot sometimes it's so cold and for the safety issue and the uh, privacy even we have storage area here underneath um, we don't have that much so some of stuff will go up in there and most of stuff when we are camping we move to the uh, front area the reason why when we build this van we didn't design for long term travel we designed for the weekend travel Mark and I we both were working that time and then we didn't think that we were gonna carry TV outside of Korea so that is a happen but it's still good you know like TV inside is really comfortable because it designed like perfectly for us like height table and areas like nice but um, I will show you like what we did on the roof later outside we changed the color this is the uh, vinyl wrapping and we did it ourselves if you guys look this one is 10 meters away is fine but do not get close to look at it <laughs> we add up the our the logos here and you can see the uh, we have a leveling block a uh, while we are traveling we've um, really need it, sometimes not reveling that much so we bought that one in the Holland and behind of here this is like the um, huge change we put the uh, we change the spring is which is like a uh, longer and a stronger the reason why we had a, a little bit of issues when we were traveling in Mongolia we were hitting a lot of stuff <laughs> underneath our TV and basically um, we didn't have anything tuning before we left so our engine oil tank smashed but it's working pretty good though yeah this is like you can see the gaps here people ask what it is this is a solar motion detect light for security reason and nighttime you now we added this feature one of most important thing is this guy here is a roof rack and we are gonna show detail you know like really details later because we gotta move <laughs> right now so these videos will be separate videos but you guys check you know next episode we gotta leave right now but before we leave we are gonna put the timeless what we do every time so every day so I will run the timeless for you guys but see you next video <laughs>
저희 채널이 처음이시라면요. 여기 이쁜 얼굴이 뜰 겁니다. 여기를 클릭하셔가지고 구독해주시고요. 그리고 제 옆으로 뜨는 영상들이 있을 거예요. 놓치셨다면 하나씩 클릭하셔가지고 봐주세요. 그럼 저는 안녕!